Hello everybody, today we're going to be doing two things at the same time. We're going to be writing a short motif and looking at various techniques for turning that motif into a fully fledged sort of fledged, fully fledged kind of theme. And so it's going to be theme and variations, how you can take a melodic idea and restate it in a number of different ways. And in order to do this, we're using a new bundle from Spitfire, uh, which is called uh, Originals Orchestra. In other words, it's £99 um, or whatever it is in your currency. You get um, epic strings, epic brass and woodwind, cinematic percussion, uh, a piano and cinematic pads. What's not to like? 99 quid. Let's see how far our £99 goes, shall we? So, if you like this kind of thing, if you like knowing about sort of writing music, scoring and all that kind of thing, and a bit of a kind of sample review on the side, because you notice that's the two-in-one thing too, two-in-one, two-in-one, um, then subscribe to the channel, because that's the kind of thing I get up to. Moving straight along, let's get into this. Um, first of all, okay, we got, uh, let's start with the firewood piano. Um, that's where I'm gonna write my little tune. Uh, yeah, what have I got my choices of? Okay, yeah, those are the kind of things. So, the the original. No, no, don't don't get distracted by what the originals is all about. Just get into the writing the tune. That's what people want to see, right? Oh, okay. Now I've got to write a tune. Um, a motif. Okay, starting from square one, um, we're coming up with a motif. which is sort of like the smallest unit of a melody, and then you can mess with it. That's a motif. Okay, that's our motif. <laughs> Look, it, this is the morning, I'm going to put this out in the afternoon, and whatever I do now goes on YouTube. So I could crash and burn. I'm, in, I'm injecting a bit of peril here. Um, because I have, as you can tell, I have no idea what I'm going to write. Um, it's all right, isn't it? I mean, I mean, is that useful? Is that going to be a useful sort of little motif? What can I do with that? So I now start to think about what I can do harmonically with it to make it more interesting. So if it goes G, C, G, F, the logical thing is to go chord one, chord five, four but I could do something else. Go from an A minor, A minor seventh, to a B flat. Okay, right, what tempo is this? I'm, I'm not a fan of just going for the default 120, but that happens to be more or less what I was thinking. Right, we're going to do this. Tell me when you're bored. You're bored yet? Yeah, I'm bored. Okay, so we've got in triplets, uh, Where is this tune coming from? Woodwinds? Um, I could use, okay, the, what, the, choo the choices you've got with your, you got, I mean, these are all ensemble patches. So with woodwinds, you get live, long and short. That's it, there you go, knock yourself out. So it's a bit like um, an, inexpensive, an inexpensive version of uh, Albion. Maybe live would be a useful thing to use here. So now I can just play it in rather than having to do it on separate tracks. Okay, right, we're gonna go with this. Except it's brass live, and it's, that's not what I want. I want woodwind live up there. Thank you very much, go away, that's it. Let's go to the long one. Where's my piano gone? What happened to my piano? There, that's better. Did I accidentally delete it? I did. Uh, 
Okay, let's go for. Uh, I'm still struggling to know who's going to play the tune. Sounds a bit superhero if I do that. Are we ready for that? Yeah. Right, so now the little tune is emerging, it goes two way. Right, and this is uh, something about tune writing going on here as well. So what I've done, if I just uh, refer you back to where I am here. So with the tune, uh, that one. And then we keep the same shape and rhythmic identity, but we change it, so we then go. So we're sort of inverting it, so rather than going up and down, we go down and up. Then it goes. So it brings that, that little phrase to an end. And we're going to use some... I think we're going to use a bit of this. Sorry, I was on the wrong camera for quite a long time there. Um, so what I'm doing here is I've got a sus2 over the top of a sus4. Um, so, so I've got C sus4, so that's C, F and G, and then a C sus2, C, D and G. I don't know if I'm going to use them both at the same time. I'll let you know. Let's see. Nearly. change key. Um, now I want a little counter melody going in there somewhere. Maybe a low version of the same thing. So then we've got the low strings um, in half time, doing what the main melody is doing up here. Um, now we're going to change uh, change key. Where are we going next? Let's do that. So rather than I'm going to just duplicate the um, piano so that I can just start playing on the next uh, track down. Then something else is going to come out of that and then we'll have a long slow uh, What's this one down here? Is that going to work for this? Eh, I'm not sure, it's a bit too slow, I think. Let's go for this one. We're going to need some low strings in here somewhere. Save your work, okay? Save, save your work. And now we are going to go for who's going to play the theme. Um, I'm a big fan of duplicating tracks, as you notice. I'm going to turn these into violins. Change this tune. I mean, 
and now I could um, Let's see what else we can do with this tune now. Let's see if we can... What I'm doing with it here is going... See, okay, so we've got open fifth on E flat there. The F and the G. Just like that. I don't know if I like it or not. Yeah, I quite like it. So what... Okay, we could do one of these kind of mounting. Um... So what we're going to do is build this um, going through a series of chords, going E flat, F, E flat, F. Um, and let's, you don't have to state the whole theme. Then, um, because you can still recognise elements of the theme where you don't have to say the whole thing every time. Um, and a lot of the time, I mean, with this particular little thing, because it's quite simple really, isn't it? If you just go, it's still implying the same tune. So, um, right, this little sequence is going to follow this up going E flat F, E flat F, and I'm going to. Do, 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 do. I'm going to do them in uh, uh, in triplets, so it's going to go. Uh, Apart from the fact that those uh, short woodwinds are too sh too loud, let's take them down. Bounce those out. Easier to deal with. Okay, that sounds all right. Um, now we can add some low strings to that. to do is to replicate that theme the, the, and then we can re, re right so then I've got my string theme there which is again slightly re it's 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 not the motif, but it's about to be re become the motif if you listen to them. Then we we'll burst forth at the top. Um, percussion swell. Hmm. 
one of these. Bounce that out, put it towards the end, um, and then we want some uh, gongs or something. Have a loop. Right, as you know, all these dynamic things I tend to bounce out like this. Then we're in business. Okay. Now, now we're going to go into, let's just revisit where we've come from because when you're developing a theme, um, you need to put the whole thing in context, otherwise you get, you're working in the microcosm of, these, of this tiny little bit you're in and you forget the whole, where you are overall. So let's just listen to the whole thing. I want to... I'm going to put, add a bit more. So what I've added in here Little answering phrases, and it's got a little runny thing. Okay, um, let's duplicate that because of. Get some. I want more of the tune in this center bit. Where are we going? Where are we going to land harmonically? We're going up um, from, we're going. So each of these, what I'm doing is I'm going up, I'm going from E flat to F, then I'm going up an inversion. G, that's where we're landing. So let's get to G. Um, with the, I think, big piano chord, yeah. Now there's, somewhere there's a note hanging off. There we go. Get rid of those what, extra ones. Oh, look at all that. What a mess. Tell you what, I'll do that again. That was a little bit messy. Right, now, brass theme. Where was I going with that? It's it sort of... Mm. 
there's any number of harmonic things you can do with it. Okay, I don't know what is going on here. Harmonically, I'm, I'm slightly lost as to where I was going with all that. So it's going... So the two, that's fine, that's going from chord one, G, to chord four, C. Then I go up to that F. So where am I going with that? That is a C sharp. So that's going up um, a um, augmented fourth. But it's, I quite like that, actually. Yeah, okay, I like that. Um, what have we got in our string longs down here? Let's have a little look, see if there's any, what other, if other articulations of any there are built into this. Okay, just consort and longs and shorts, that's all right. So I haven't got trems and things to play with, which was what I was looking for, really. Um, See how it goes. Okay. Uh, where's my low percussion? Boom, 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 boom. Now we'll support that with some um, low string um, shorts. Oh, it's got to load up or something. Oh no, because I've just duplicated the, uh, that's the one I want to duplicate. There we go. Is that what I was playing? I'm not sure. Ah, oh, hang on. I'm still in overdub mode, I think. Replace. There we go. Okay. Get a bit more balance. Okay, this is coming together. Dum, 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 dum. Yeah, so this needs to be tightened up a bit actually it sounds a bit on the floppy side let's uh, get rid of that let's go back to that now rebounce it I 
think we can double the um, uh, brass and the wood. <laughs> Okay, so now we want a counter melody in the low strings. So let's get a low string up. Is there a different patch? Octaves? How about strings in octaves? Short octaves, consort octaves, long octaves. Yeah, okay. Let's get another mic position in. Give it a bit more bite. Uh, okay. Again, I'm rendering out, I think, so I can. Everything's getting a bit louder. <laughs> So we've got to, I've one we've gone from G to C sharp. That's uh, so a G to C, G to C. So that's, okay, what I'm seeing on the keyboard here is A flat, um, that's C, uh, F, C, so that's going to, to F chord, then, then, then to, okay, so we're going to go A flat, F, and ending up on a G or a C. First inversion of, of F works well. I think so. I think that's what we're going to do. Um, so Right, um, which track am I going to go on to? Okay. So we got... Nearly, nearly, nearly.
Okay, now we can come off um, that. Maybe so. Okay. And um, we're going to have a bit of a swell up to the end there. Bit of a swell up to the end there. Whoops. Okay, we're nearly there. We're nearly there. So hang in there, everybody. Okay. Uh. Come on, guy. I'm working at super speed here, so you have to forgive me if I cut things up a bit. Um, we're going to quantize those to eighth triplets. There we go. Let's hope that's done it. Right. Ladies and gentlemen, it is finished. So, what we've done is started with something quite quiet and turned it into something quite deafening. <laughs> oh, well, never mind. Here we go. Where's my piano gone again? Have I? Ah, hang on. I think I may have accidentally. Yes, there we go. That's better. There you go. Uh, that's all we're doing. Um, so we took an initial motif, turned it into a tune, then turned the tune into something different um, and handed the tune from one section to another. And we're working with uh, Spitfire originals. Um, so these are ensemble patches. And if you want to hand tunes around, it is a lot easier to do it if you've got individual instruments. But that's a 99 quid orchestra. And if you're starting on something like um, BBC Orchestra Discover, this is a good step up because it's a, it's a fuller sound and it would really add to that, um, you know, fill in some of the gaps which you get with Discover. But look, can't order 99 quid really, can you? <laughs> anyway, look, I hope you found this useful and if you did, push the old button and I'll be back uh, with more nonsense uh, before you know it. See you soon. Bye-bye.